visual math multiplication. All right. So we're talking multiplication. What is it? Multiplication is another way to determine the total number of items in several equal groups. Is multiplication different? Nope. It's as easy as counting. What can it do for you? Oh, well, like I say, it helps you in calculating the total of a large number of groups where each group has the same number of items. So that's the important part. If each group have the same number of items and you have a large group, then multiplication makes it a lot easier to get to the answer than doing addition. So if you remember, when we had this group with how many items in it? Four. And then we add another group with? Six. Then we know that though, that gives us 10. Four plus six equals 10. But if we just make each group equal, then we'll have two equal groups of five each. And we can say five plus five is equals to 10. But another way we can write that is to say that we have five in each group and we have Time. two groups. Very good. So times we have times two. the number of groups that we have. Since each group have five, then we can say five times, which is the number in each group, times how many groups. Now, once you write in multiplication, you can reverse them. So you can say two times five, and that is the exact same thing. But we should prove that five times two is equals to two times five. Because the way we want to think of it is how many items do we have in one group times how many groups we have. So we were saying that if we have five items in one group times two group, that is the exact same thing as if we have two items in a group and we have five groups. So let's see what that looks like. Again, we're still counting. So let's say we have five items in this group and another five in this group. We know that we can add them. Well, we can also write this as a multiplication by saying that we have five items in a group times the fact that we have two groups. And if we start grouping this a different way, this is the exact same thing as saying we have what? Two times uh, five. Two times five because we have two items in one group and we have five groups. So the answer is the same. So okay, last example because I think you have this already. Now let's say we have this group, which is five items, plus two other groups, each with five items. Then we can write this as 5 plus 5 plus 5. And that is the exact same thing as if we said 5, five times 3. Very, very good. 5 times 3. And this is the exact same thing as if we were to start grouping by 3 and write it out 5 times. I think you got it, don't you? You sure? You should not nod in your head, but nobody can hear you. Yes. All right. Because we have done a ton of practice of this, right? And you got it. Okay. So, in summary, we can say multiplication is... Number of items per group times number of groups. Very good. Number of items per group times number of groups. Or for times, you can use X. <laughs> and that's it. That's all there is to multiplication. It's almost like adding. Because if you just add in items, you get the same result as if you did a multiplication. It does multiplication is much easier because let's say you had a thousand group and there were five in each group. You can just write a thousand times five and that's much shorter and gives you the answer much quicker than if you had to do five plus five plus five plus five a thousand times. All right. So that's it. Until next time. If you like the video, please subscribe and like. If you want us to see us do a division video, leave us a comment down below. All right. All right, buddy. Bye.